Yeah, so I think that is a, a big question that comes up, especially when people first receive their diagnosis of HIV and they come to their first visit. A lot of them are very distraught. And I think the big concern is that they do have this vision of what HIV and AIDS was like in the 80s and early 90s before we had good medications. Um, what, what I tend to tell these people is to reassure them that, that the diagnosis of HIV is really no longer a death sentence um, and hasn't been for the past decade or so. Um, back in the mid 90s, if a 20 year old received a diagnosis of HIV, their lifespan was only 39. But nowadays, if a 20 year old receives a diagnosis of HIV, their lifespan is essentially the same as if it would have been without that diagnosis. With the key being that we now have really good medications that are well tolerated that people can take for decades um, and do really well with. And so as long as they're able to continually take the medications, their risk of having a shortened lifespan is very minimal.